Hey guys, it's Rachel Fate here, and today I'm going to be doing a Hearthstone Priest Guide, I guess. Um, more or less just me playing Priest. Um, but, it's a, um, it's a very, uh, phase deck. You just sort of go phase majority of the time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how I play it. And, yeah, it's more or less here just for people who are trying to learn. I just want to better their skills, I guess. Hmm. Let me off that. Um, I may not play correctly or well, but I'm going to throw this up anyway on YouTube. Just as some Hearthstone content. This could be Handlock, which could be a problem. be a very big problem. But then again it could also be the demon deck. Excuse me. Okay. I don't have light bombs in this deck, and it actually weighs this deck down so much because you do need light bombs in it. Okay. He must have an answer to this then. Or he just didn't, wasn't thinking? Because he should have attacked this. Unless he has an L. Okay. That's very strong. Oh yes, that is very, very strong. Um Sylvanas is aiming mean to be the best player right now. I mean it can still is L. However, there's a lot more things on the board that I want to be stealing than just that out. The Sylvanas puts me ahead a lot of quicker, I feel. And next turn will be Dr. Boom, unless he starts threatening with lethal. Um, nope, I think I just need to s slow down his advances right now. I don't really want to put the chair down right now because it just gives him more potential to draw. I don't run any pain in this deck, I only run deaths. But um, the whole concept for, for this deck that I understand is that you with your light bombs, you establish board, and when they establish board, you light bomb because their monsters are more than likely going to have higher attack or equal attack than their HP. Um, just off of the sole fact that, and that's why in this deck you'll see a lot of monsters with a lot more HP than life, or for example like Sylvanas, it doesn't really matter kind of because... Um, since she's a 5-5, five five, even if you light bomb to kill her, she's more than likely going to take something on their field. But like, cards like this and... Um, Boom's not really a good example, but um, for example like even Chow, Shredder is just a plus. Because even though you're clearing whole board state, you still get something out of it. If he places down a monster, right? okay, yeah, that's smart. That's very smart. I 
I feel like Chow's fine now, though. Give that min give that minion a turn to get ready. Since the soul fire's already gone off, I don't feel like... He he more than likely may have more things to clear my board with, but... I feel a lot more safer now that I've seen at least one soul fire out of him. Or sorry, shadow flame. I really need to see a Velen's chosen soon. So many possibilities. Just so then my Holy No is dealing three damage, so it's kind of unexpected. Because from his perspective, he's got to at least think that <clears throat> because I've had these two cards here for so long, I haven't used them. He's got to be thinking that they're either like something like a Holy No or something that I don't want to waste. I feel like this card here is... Okay, no, it's not what I was thinking. <laughs> Sludge Bartra is really strong. See what we get. That is very, very strong. I'm getting rid of this, though. I feel like trading these all in is fine. Nah, I'll just do it with the chair. This is actually great though because if I get a villain's chosen, and he doesn't get rid of the villain's chosen card, that's a big game hunter. More no, okay, sounds all. That's fine, it puts him down to... Oh, okay. That wasn't worth it. He mustn't have had the silence for it. Death Knight's really strong here. Um... Can even just holy over the field? Which seems fine. Or do I risk it? Nuke field. Yeah, actually no. We'll do this. And just hope our RNG is in our favor. He doesn't die? <laughs> no oh, that's fucking hilarious. I thought even if it knocked him down, he'd still die. Oh god. That's pretty funny. When you think you got game and then... Oh no. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Is he still classed as a minion? I doubt it. Yeah, he's not. Okay. Um, so this is going phase. And then we just... Just slap these down. Oh god. That was terrible. He has so many cards in hand, he's got to have an out to it. Oh my god, he runs too. That's really strong. Please. Okay, that's, that's fine. He really needs to put a taunt down. He may not have one though. Where? Hmm. There's no threat of him having another Molten Giant because he can't actually put it down now. Not until he goes below 5 HP. This is my responsibility. 5 HP or below. So stealing this seems fine. 
This is my responsibility. Okay. He has to put up a taunt. Does he have a Sun Fury Protector? He has to have a taunt now, or he loses. Yeah, that yeah, was a mistake. Alrighty. I'll do one more game. Oh god. So I don't need the Shrink Master, I don't need the Pan. Dark Cultist, I don't need one that either. Just because I want really small drops early, especially while I have the Valens chosen in hand. And they ain't small drops. Hopefully I draw like a chow. Yeah, that ain't great. This could be Control Warrior. Yeah. Pretty sure it's Control Warrior. He's probably just gonna armor up again. Wait for it. Oh boy. I don't really want to put too much out right now. Actually, this thought skill steel could be very, very deadly if it is control warrior. So I can steal cards like Alex Strauss or Ragnaros, Brom. And let's see what we get. There it is. Fucking cold. Uh. I feel like he has a lot of high drops in hand. He is being a little bit more aggressive. Uh, could even just steal that. I feel like that's what we do. There's no need to get a taunt right now, so why, why not? Just get the value of a 2 2 instead of a 1 2. The taunt on that is not important. This could be the boom, yep, that's the boom. So I need to draw the pain right now. That is very, very strong right now. Hmm. 
Max is only gonna put it up to six. So do we just like Nova right now and hope for the best? But it's fine. Now I can. If he puts out something like that, I need to get a get put out of the game straight away. Then I got the go half full. Or I've also got a couple pains yet to draw. So I'm thinking like possibly rag. Then again, possibly Doctor Boom as well. If he has a lot of small targets, then I'm gonna go rag. If he has. Um, Sorry, if he has a lot of small targets, I'm going to go Dr. Boom. If he has a big target, I'm going to go Rag. I have no time for games. Oh, that's really strong. Gorehow is definitely a card I'm thinking of doing right now. Yeah. By the light. Yeah, so his Sylvanas is out. That means he, oh yeah, he's going to have a Gore Hell in his deck as well. So he does have the uh, like one turn kill, I guess, um, potential to him. Possibly could have a charge in there as well. And when I, I'm sort of, I don't really want to put down the rag too early because um, if two deck, if you're versing two decks and someone puts down a rag and you have a rag in hand, it's almost like infinitely better just to put your rag down but, um, after his. That's that's the trick, I guess, when it comes to Ragnaros, is you you always want to place yours down after they've put theirs down. Because then you can totally shut their rag out of the game and still have a rag up, so it's really strong like that. Excuse me. Okay, boom. Dr. Boom here is very strong, and I'm also going to get my heal off too, so that seems fine. <laughs> just using the Gore Howl really, just to remove any cards that have good or decent effects, so for example Sylvanas, um, and also the draw aspect that he gets from Acolyte, because I don't really have any other cards from my hand that I can use to get rid of that. Okay, so he's getting rid of my boom. That's very good. Okay, this isn't the worst thing. That was not good. Well, I'm chosen a bomb. Just doesn't seem all that bad. Um Yes. By the light. See, I don't like I could have thought still there. Which I actually should have. That was a misplay. Um sorry, what I was gonna say is I don't really wanna put like all my cards out on the field, especially knowing that he's kind of a control hunter from what I've seen of him so far. I mean, not Hunter, Warrior. So I don't really want to put too many cards out there. So I don't want to put out like this when I know he more than likely has executes. Cause then that's just giving him a free monster which I more than likely probably can't deal with. Okay, so the Shadow Web Death is going on that. Or the Mind Control 2 is fine. Um. Yeah, I think my control's just better here. Just because it puts him... See, Death in, like, this is now giving me a monster to play with. Whereas before... Um, especially since he's on lower cards, it's better to steal a monster than just to destroy it outright. In this circumstance, it was a lot better. 
because not only is he losing momentum, but you're also gaining it. And if he doesn't have the answer to it, then yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, what executors go on? So Death Knight is more than likely going to get played soon. Also, this is going to give me a good, genuine assumption on whether or not he has the um, execute in hand. Yeah, that's really strong. Okay, I'm sorry if he's used all executes now. This is where my death's going. Yeah, he's going completely phased now. He's really wanting game to happen now. So we get rid of this. That's a must. Um, this is definite. So he still has a gore house, and he has a brawl. The death knight's fine too. Because if he if he draws the brawl, I mean he's got twelve other cards to do. But he's got if he draws the brawl, then brawl's totally pointless in this circumstance. Because he's gonna brawl and then my death knight's gonna be left. Ragnaros is going is a very good combo next turn with the Death Knight because um for example if he brawls Well I have my Ragnaros on the field. Oh, that's a problem. That is quite the problem. Uh, the heal is very strong. We just, I, I feel like we just throw a couple little cards down. It's not too much of a problem if he kills this. I keep weapon in hand. So the combo that I might more than likely, if I read this correctly, yeah. So I'm gonna Sylvanas into my death to steal this. Oh god, this could go very very bad. Oh, nailed it. Now this is. You're gonna seem weird me doing this. However, I could rag. <sighs> yeah, rag's the better way. It's kind of scary if he draws the shield slam here. But um, yeah, the main tip I'd be giving to people who are versed in a control warrior and they're not really, and they don't really know how the deck works or they haven't versed it too much is, don't. The more the more cards you waste, the further ahead they get, because they're more than likely going to have something to get rid of your stuff that you place down. So that's why, as you can see, my hand is still like you got to trade very efficiently. Um, gonna just do this because. I, I feel like I can get rid of my weapon right now. Just to lock out the potential that if he does draw a shield slam that he can't kill this. To be honest, I'm like 10 ahead, 10 ahead with 5 on field and 5 in hand, well 9 ahead sorry, because life points do not matter. Um, another aspect to look at with this game is don't use, don't look at your life as something that like isn't, it's not so much like, it's expendable, your your HP can be used, you look at it like a resource, I, uh, a lot of people will tell you that like uh, Crip or um, Trump use it as a resource. So even though I got down to like 9 HP, 
it's that's what got me ahead because he wasn't he was trading for face instead of trading for example monsters or trying to clear out stuff and even when I may have not had anything on the field and he was still going face it's kind of weird because it's like you're limiting your options then you're not leaving stuff in hand to combo Oh, this is starting to look like game. Give it to that. Oopsie. I have no time for games. Take it. Gotcha. So next turn we have game. Keep that ah uh, no, not necessarily. If he armors up, in incoming freaking Deathwing. What now? No. Okay, chief. <laughs> well played. So yeah, I hope I've shown a um good rep representation of this deck. Um, if you need any tips or anything like that, you can just leave a comment. I'll definitely get back to you on it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Or well, night.